there guys, my name is Coaster Child, Doncaster Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news room update and this is on some B&M tracks, some Bologna and Mabillard coaster track that was spotted at the plant. Now I'm going to be talking about what we know so far about this track and also sharing what I think could happen. Now before we get started, please give this video a like, please subscribe to the channel, please comment down below your thoughts. Give that notification bell a ring so you never miss any more YouTube videos. Please share the channel with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in for our next Q&A to celebrate 2,000 subscribers when we hit that milestone. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, from what we know recently, according to the forums, um, we know that B&M track has been spotted at the plant. Uh, now, of course... Uh, basically, if you know if you don't know what's happening, basically black track, purple track, and turquoise track were spotted at the plant. Now we know. Now looking deeper into this, the black track has the code IC. Uh, now, of course, this stands for inverted coaster, so we can pretty much draw a conclusion that the um, the IC track will be for Groner Lund's inverted coaster. So I know there was, I can't remember the name, but there's someone commenting saying, uh, you know, have you got an update on Groner Lund's inverted coaster? This is it. This is it. The dark track labeled IC 2 K is definitely Groner Lund's invert. The purple or turquoise track is not on site anymore. So that is very interesting news as well. Now, this was the main bulk of the video, really, discussing the purple and bl turquoise blue track. Now, we talked about SeaWorld Orlando, and we talked about how they could be set to build a B&M coaster, either a wing coaster or what is looking likely now a surf coaster, the world's first of its kind surf coaster. Now, I believe that would be turquoise track, especially on... You know, SeaWorld's got a thing about height, really, where they have to build a specific blue to match the height. Uh, so I do believe that, you know, we could be looking at a surf coaster if it's quite low to the ground, so it looks like you're surfing in and out kind of thing. Uh, but the purple track is the one that surprises me the most. Now, the purple track could be anything, really. I mean, you can put your comments and your suggestions down below. But, one thing we definitely know is that the turquoise track will be for SeaWorld Orlando, in my opinion. And I think that that will be for the wind coaster or surf coaster. Whatever coaster they're going for, but I think it will be a surf coaster now. Uh, and the black track, the dark track, uh, with the code for the inverted coaster, is definitely for Groner Lund. Unless another part's going for an invert, then, you know, it's a different part. But I think it's very, very all but confirmed that it will be Groner Lund's track. Now, that says to me that Groner Lund are still planning to construct this brand new inverted coaster. Now, the, that, now there's one thing I did forget to mention in previous Groner Lund videos. The fact that this coaster is being constructed every winter season. So, basically, the site for it was already built uh, in the previous winter season, 2019 in 2020. And then this winter season, 2020 into 2021, is when they'll start to erect the track. Now... Of course, if you didn't know already, this B&M Inverted Coaster at Groner Lund, this orange, well, it's supposed to be orange, uh, so I'm guessing it will be painted, um, you know, when before they ship it out to Sweden. Uh, that coaster is set to open in 2021. Uh, now, we believe that investments for other parks, such as investments for 2020, 2021, they shouldn't be affected by this whole crisis. The 2021 coasters... Uh, or most of them, should we say, should still open on time. Uh, we know that construction for some of the other projects is still going ahead. Um, now, we believe, now what we believe, uh, that um, the Wallaby Belgium uh, Hyper uh, from, uh, from Intamin, that is still going ahead as planned for 2021. We know that construction and the opening of that won't be affected. Uh, we know that the company that owns Wallaby Belgium and the other parks in the chain, we know they've cut back on investments uh, after that year. So things like Park Asterix New Coaster could be affected by this crisis in the future. Uh, other projects could be affected now as well. But as far as we know, things like Wallaby Belgium's New Coaster, that is still going ahead. The Groner Lund Invert, that's still going ahead. But like I mentioned, one of the big things about this video is this purple track and this turquoise track. Now, I mentioned the turquoise track I think will be for SeaWorld Orlando's new coaster for next year. 
the turquoise track is a very big mystery. I'm going to have to put on my Sherlock Holmes hat and glasses here because I've got a very big eye for mystery when it comes to the purple track. Now, the purple track could be anything. It could literally be anything, couldn't it? It could be something in China, it could be something here in Europe, it could be something in the States, it could be for the UK, maybe Thought Parks bought a mystery hyper out behind the scenes. No, 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 it can't be that surely. It surely can't be that. Um, it, it, Thought Park would have told us by now. <laughs> um, but the purple track, I can't really put my finger on as to what it could be. Um, so that's just it for this video. It's not the biggest update in the world, but it's sort of just to update you guys what track's been spotted at the BM factory and sort of making my predictions. The purple one, I've got no idea. Turquoise will be for Sealed Orlando's new coaster, in my opinion, and we know that the black track, in my opinion, will be painted orange and will be for the Groenland Invert. We know the code looks like it's going to be for the Groenland Invert coaster. Um, it's just a case now whether that's going to remain black or it's going to be painted orange. We don't know yet. Uh, from the concept art, it's orange. So hopefully they do paint it up before they ship that track out to Sweden. My opinion, the turquoise track, that'll be, you know, that's all painted up, ready to ship out to Florida uh, for SeaWorld Orlando. Now, the purple and turquoise track isn't on site anymore, so maybe they've kept that inside the factory now. So, that's going to be very interesting. And, of course, the purple track, I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Unless um, SeaWorld San Antonio possibly has a B&M plan for next year, which I think, you know, it's a big site that, they go, that they've put for construction for 2021. Uh, and they have said that something big is coming, but we don't exactly know what. Maybe San Antonio is going to go with a a B and M or something. You know, like a B and M uh, wing or a hyper, which I think is very unlikely. Uh, but you know, unless we hear anything, then fair enough. If we get uh, some permits from San Antonio that there's going to be some purple track and it's manufactured by B and M, we get a like code or something in the next few weeks or the next couple of months or the next few months, uh, then you know. Uh, unless San Antonio is keeping this announcement secret uh, and then announcing it out of nowhere, so it'll be very interesting to see what that purple chat will be. Whether it is free, whether it is going to be for another Sea World Park uh, or it's going to be for a different park. So very interesting developments there from the B&M factory. I'd be very excited to see what the purple track's for and if the turquoise track is for SeaWorld Orlando. And of course, when that Groenland track starts getting on site and we can start, you know, over the winter season going into 2021, start getting really excited for Groenland's next big coaster uh, opening in 2021. So uh, very exciting stuff. So thank you very much guys for watching this news update from the B&M factory plant and the track delivery. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now guys, my name is Coast Chal, Kit with the Coast Life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. I'm not